just Derek Beasley. Well, these hit or miss showers seem to come just right around the time people are getting off of work. It seems like it happens right when I get ready to go to work <laughs> and, the, you know, I end up having to dodge the raindrops and the lightning bolts, too. But again, it looks like we have a couple out there, Kim, not really much rain. Now, we had more coverage earlier, but it appears that these storms are just kind of falling apart as they get uh, closer to I-10. And here's what's going on now. These are the storms that were in Mobile County earlier. Now they are trying to push across the bay. And notice you don't see those reds anymore. Just some yellows and greens. That's some light to moderate, occasionally heavier rain, but not nearly as heavy as what we've seen over the past hour or so across Mobile County, where we had a pretty decent thunderstorm here across our area. Now we're watching these storms here north of Pensacola. Notice that they're basically tracking off to the south and east. So I'm moving through Gonzales now. They still have a pretty decent amount of lightning with them, and we'll be watching those carefully as they move towards Pensacola. Besides that, there's nothing else going on. It looks like for your evening plans. A mostly dry forecast, although we can't rule out a storm or two here through sunset. And then it looks like later on tonight should be quiet. This was the scene down at Gulf Shores for today. Clouds and sunshine, great beach day down there. Not as many folks, of course, as school is now back in session for a lot of people across the area. 70, uh, basically in the 70s where it's been raining, so it's cooled off. The, the good thing about these storms is when they do move over your area to do cool things off nicely, but 81 here in Mobile, 83 Pensacola. Chance for storms through sunset, and then it looks like later on tonight, partly cloudy skies, temperatures falling back to the 70s. Don't forget tonight, right around this time of year, every year we have the Perseid meteor shower, and it looks like tonight should be good viewing, if we, especially if we can get some of the clouds to uh, to clear out, which we expect to happen. What you want to do is look to the northeast about 20 to 45 degrees above the horizon. You should be able to see it. And what you want to do is wait about 20 minutes so your eyes can adjust so you'll be able to see it. The only issue will be the fact that we still have the full moon out there, and that may uh, kind of disrupt the viewing a little bit. But uh, closer to 2 o'clock in the morning, we could see upwards of 100 meteors per hour. So a uh, pretty decent uh, meteor shower here, and we usually see it around this time every year. So be sure to check it out for tonight. Cold front will settle towards the coast tomorrow. It should push offshore by tomorrow morning, but it will back up and move inland here towards I-10 tomorrow afternoon. So we're going to keep a slight chance for a storm in the forecast near the coast for tomorrow. Everybody else, though, should be dry. And as a matter of fact, with this front pushing out into the Gulf, we're actually going to see some lower humidity return. Places like Evergreen and Grove Hill, Thomasville, Chatham could easily see Temperatures fall back into the mid-60s here for, looks like, Thursday and Friday morning. So some comfortable air will be moving towards our inland counties. Uh, the problem is, though, with the front being so close to the coast, it likely is not going to make it all the way down to the beaches. But uh, some lower humidity here for the middle part of the week as that front gets... Uh, pushes offshore. Now we are still watching out in the Atlantic. Really not much going on here. We do have uh, that tropical wave that was in Vest 94. There's so much dry air out there. It's just having a tough time getting organized. So we're going to continue to watch it. But at this point, it does not look like it's amounting to much at this point. Here's your forecast starting off with your instantaneous forecast you can get on your smartphone. Let's say if you want to do that or if you want to get a look at the radar while you're out, just download our app WPMI WX on your iPhone or Android device. Here's your seven-day forecast. Again, slight chance for a storm or two as we go into uh, your Wednesday afternoon, but overall looks like a mainly dry forecast. 92 the high temperature, 90 coming up on Thursday, 91 on Friday. Lows in the upper 60s here for Thursday and Friday morning. All right, typical summer pattern that we've been seeing through it is, August. It really is, but at least we'll get a little bit of a break from the humidity towards the middle part of the week. Okay, kind of like that. Not as much as that cooled down we had in July. Though. No, not, not like that, but we'll take any little bit we can get at this point. All right, thanks, Derek. Mm -hmm.